Hi guys, happy Thursday afternoon. As you can see, I'm not in a classroom. So what I've done is I've created a video that we're going to go over um, binary code and I'm going to show you the activity that you're going to do. So what is binary code? Binary code, it's any code that uses just two symbols to represent information is considered a binary code. Forms of binary code include Braille, which is raised and unraised areas, Morse code, long and short signals, and the ASCII binary code. This code uses zeros and ones, which is what most people think of when they hear the words binary code and is the way that computers and computerized devices send, receive, and store information. I want you to stop and think about this sentence here, okay? Binary code. It is the way that computers and computerized devices, your iPhones, your iPads, it's how they send, receive, and store information. The computer uses a special code called a, the binary code where each letter, both uppercase and lowercase, is assigned an eight character binary number using zeros and ones only. So each letter is made up of eight digits using only zero and one. Computers don't recognize the letter A like we do. So when we type a capital A into the computer, it sees the binary code 01000001. That's a capital A. For example, the word code, capital C, capital O, capital D, capital E, would look like this using binary code. Capital C is 01000011. Capital O is 01001111. Capital D is 01000100. And capital E is 01000101. It's a lot of digits for the letters C O D E, okay? While there is also a code for the space between words and letters, as well as numbers and symbols, we're going to start off easy with just the uppercase and lowercase letters. You might be asking yourself, why can't computers just use letters like we do? Think about it. We write code C-O-D-E pretty easy. But for the computer, okay, we type in the letter C-O-D-E, the computer is seeing this for C, this for O, this for D, and this for E. All right, so here's why. Computers have circuits which are either on or off. That's it. These two states can be represented by zero, which is off, or one, which is on. Binary codes one and zero method quickly detects an electrical signal on or off state. Creating and translating binary numbers is a good way to learn how computers process data. All right. So here's your binary alphabet. And boys and girls, you don't need to write this down. You don't need to print it off because each activity page, I have the binary alphabet on the page for you. So if I was going to type a capital D, you know, for the computer to recognize it, it would be 01000100. If I did a capital R on the computer, the computer would see it as 0101. 0, 0, 1, 0. So we have all of our capital letters. And then down here, we have our lowercase letters. And here, a lowercase f, the computer would see 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. But if I was going to type in a lowercase w, it would see 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Look at all those letters. Okay. Okay, so the activities you're going to do, all right, you're going to have a couple different pages to do. You're going to have this type of page here where use the binary alphabet to crack the code. So be, the spaces are spaces between each letter. So here, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, you would have to come down and find that code and match it up, and that would be capital A. Then you would do this one, 
okay zero one zero 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 one one if i go down it would be a c so up here you would type the letter c all right and then you would do this letter and this letter and this letter and guess what guys this is going to spell acorn a-c-o-r-n all right then you're going to do this one and this one so if you have a page where you have the numbers here you're just going to look at each number all right remember the space means this is a new letter you're going to find the letter down here and then you're just going to type it up here here's what another page looks like let me skip it down so in this case here you're going to have a picture here leaves well you have to find the binary code for l which is right here zero one zero zero one one zero zero and you're going to type it here for the letter e you're going to find the binary code for e zero one zero 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 one zero one and you'll type it there and you do the same thing for a and the v and the e and the s and guys i know okay it's going to make your eyes go crazy so take your time with it okay i'm not going to give you that many of them but i want you to make sure that you're putting the correct numbers in each box because if we you know think about what's going to happen with the computer if you don't put the correct number the computer's going to be like wait a minute what are you talking about all right um same thing with this page and same thing with this page again guys you're not getting all these pages i just want to show you some all right this goes back to now here's a riddle what do you get when you drop a pumpkin here's one letter here's another letter another letter another letter another letter and another letter so you have to go down and find your binary code for this one zero one zero one zero zero one one you would go and find it down here okay and then type your letter up there all right same thing there all right bunch of cool little activities that you can do pretty easy take your time and again guys you're not going to have all these pages i'm going to give you three or four of them to do all right um if you you can always come back and watch the video again all right guys have fun coding <laughs>